Welcome to the Novel Tech Media Python course, where we are going to learn Python while developing real-life applications that are actually useful and interesting to code. So here I have opened my first application, which is an Instagram bot crawler. So what I have done here is we have created a Python GUI with using things like Beautiful Soap in order to crawl the web. So in this particular example, we are going to crawl Instagram and try to ramp up our following. So we can schedule our bot at a certain time, what, which I have just done here at 13.015, to uh, open our Instagram account, go to the certain hashtag and try liking those tags in order to get people to follow us back. So let us wait for the scheduler to hit 13.15. And here our scheduler runs. It opened a new browser, so in this case we're using Firefox, it logged into Instagram with our credentials that we have just provided, now it's going to search for the hashtag cars, it's going to open those tags and hopefully like them. Okay great, Instagram restricted us here because I, I was running this for the fifth time for the uh, same hashtags, but you get the point. So we are going to create a real life bot here that can actually log into certain social media accounts, like posts, um, also we could add it to comment posts and things like that in order to get us a higher following. Another app that we are also going to create is a video editor, where we are going to be working with files, importing files, um, editing them, uh, creating movies, cropping them, uh, making them longer, shorter, extracting information about them, creating GIFs out of images, uh, adding background music to our images. So we are going to create a basic video editor here. We are also going to create things like a URL shortener. You have probably seen uh, URL shorteners, um, like when you go to a description of a YouTube video and you see this link that is like bit.ly something. So we are going to create the same thing here. Let us open a YouTube video here. For example, this one. Let us copy the address of it. Uh, submit it here and now we got a shortened URL so what we can do now is we can just hit the URL here and it's going to lead us to the same video we are also going to create uh, things like a text generator using OpenAI GPT for example here for the term the Jedi our AI has generated the following or Jedi or whether the Jedi are, in other words, they are only considered as one of the good things around them. Je the Jedi are not as bad as their Sith cousins, but a very different thing. <laughs> so this is a pretty funny text here. Um, I have fed the AI some um, random things about Star Wars from the internet, not too much. So the results are a bit funny and awkward, but you could feed it whatever you would like and um, create a real product out of that. So with every project that we're going to build, we're going to think about the real applications of it so that it can actually be useful and that's going to make it so much more interesting to program. We are also going to create a face expression detector. Let me run that program for you. So it's going to access um, our webcam and it's going to check how we feel. It's going to create an avatar out of that and it's going to check our emotions and actually display them through our avatar here. Those are some projects of which we are going to create. Um, the course is constantly updated. So the course will always be updated on a weekly and monthly basis with your input. So if you want to see something else, if you say, okay, it would be really cool to have that and that project as our next project, and we are going to include the project in our next video. So this is something ongoing for the eternity of the course. You sign up once and you get updates for basically ever. The course will also have support. So basically close to live support. I will be answering all your questions no matter what, and I will try to answer the questions as fast as possible. So if you are stuck installing something, if you don't understand something, if you say I could have explained something in a better way, just add your comments and all comments will be considered. We are also going to give a short introduction to Python. So we are going to go into things like um, algorithms and data structures. So here I put up a few examples that we are going to implement. Something like check the number of characters in a string, build a Tanoi of, how, uh, of Hanoi using recursion, um, common dividers, check if a word is a palindrome, uh, find the minimum sum, reverse a linked list, for example. And we're going to do 
algorithms and data structures on a more basic level to get you familiar with Python. We are also going to give an introduction to Python for things like data types, what data types are there in Python, how they work, what functionalities do they have. We are going to go over statements, uh, so things like functions, try-catch statements and so on. Uh, we are going to go over object-oriented programming, we are going to take a look into that. We are also going to take in a look into regular expressions and all the things that you're going to need uh, for your uh, Python roadmap. So if that sounds interesting to you and if you would like to learn Python in a completely new way by building real-life applications, then enroll in the course. If you're not satisfied, there is also a money-back guarantee, so basically you can't lose anything here. And also don't forget that this is an ongoing course, always updated with live support, so you're not alone here. So, I'm awaiting you in the course.